the last 16. I was looking at it at um, either one the Icelandic team or Leeds United, you know. If we're going to go out, go out with a bang. Uh, but any, any of the other teams, the Lillestroms and the Brombies, not all good teams, uh, which gives us a wee chance, I think, of going further in the competition. Oh, well, do lovely. Right, smashing. It's what I wanted. I wanted to stay in and let the players enjoy the experience for as long as they can. And if I get through this round again, it's going to be hard enough. But if I get through it, and I think we've got a realistic chance. Who knows what the future holds after that, you know. They might finally get the big one at the one. Tuesday night is UEFA Cup night and Wraith Rovers played Icelandic champions Akranes in the first round. We've highlights of that and action from Liverpool's opening game in Russia. Gordon Smith is alongside me in the studio. The Icelanders weren't moving the goalposts pre-kick-off at Kirkcaldy, they were measuring them. And once Akranes were happy, they set about trying to spoil Rovers' party. The Reds were in Russia tonight and Liverpool took their first step on what they hope will be a long European run. First, the adventures of Wraith Rovers continued at Starks Park tonight. Their famous Coca-Cola Cup win unlocked the door to the UEFA Cup. And in the preliminary round, they knocked out a Faroese team with a very long name. That was the Kirkcaldy team into the competition proper. Here's how they lined up tonight. No Jim McAnally, but manager Jimmy Nicholl settled for a place on the bench. Danny Lennon and Davy Kirkwood teamed up in the central midfield. The pace and power of Tony Rougier down the left-hand side. Five of that Akranes team played for Iceland in their last international and two more were subs. Playmaker Siggy Jonsson had spells with Arsenal and Sheffield Wednesday. The Gunnlaugsson twins, although their hairstyles are anything but identical, are strike partners. Commentator, Jock Brown. The great European adventure continues for Wraith Rovers. Disappointed to lose the services of Jim McInally, obviously, for this particular match with all his European experience. But there will be a great learning process for many of these young Rovers players. They certainly will be tested by a very useful Icelandic side. Here's Dave Sinclair, put under pressure straight away by Gunnlaugsson. That's Arna Gunnlaugsson, number nine, with the flowing hair. His twin brother here in possession, number seven, has usefully shaved his head. 22 years old, these two. But here's Roger and Ball straight away. He's playing directly against a very tough tackling midfield player in Olafur Thorderson. But here's Arnar Gunnlaugsson. Very good left foot. Back it goes to Haraldsson. Somewhat eerie atmosphere inside the stadium. The capacity reduced to 5,400 because of UEFA regulations. It's from the 9,500 normally available. And there's Rougier causing real problems. The break of the ball goes to Cameron. A chance for Wraith Rovers. Colin Cameron looks to the heavens. Tony Rougier did some good work here. Casual play by Milkovic. And the chance on for Cameron. Thordarsson. Clearance by Brodel. Cushioned well there by Milkovic for Jonsson. This is Ingelson. Gieslason. That's a great turn there by Arna. Gunnlaugsson. Left Dennis for dead. He does it again. Very good on the left-hand side. Great interchange of passes. Ingelson. Well, there's the menace. Arna Gunnlaugsson showing his real ability there. The great natural left side, Gunnlaugs, and he wanted this in his left foot, so that's why he played the one-two with his brother, looked for the return, and the half interception was enough to halt the move. Here's McInespy, Crawford, McInespy again, Lennon with a shot, and the 14th minute of the match, and Danny Lennon gives Ray Clover the lead. 
Well, certainly a bit of a ricochet there, but it well set up by McInesby to the side that it goes. There was Lennon, it was deflected, and that left the goalkeeper without a hope. Well, it's a perfect start for Wraith Rovers. Look at the way it's laid off by McInesby. Lennon got a deflection there off Jonsson. That's what made the difference. Another break of the ball there. Space inside. Here's Wilson. McInesby goes racing outside him. McInesby popping up in that attacking position, creating a chance for Lennon to score. That's Wilson. Good cross. Adelson pumps it out now. Ray Throwers have to keep their composure here, going for a second goal. Good angle cross this by Barry Wilson, headed away by Hugnesson. That is by Lennon. That's a good catch by Thordarsson. 23-year-old goalkeeper. No chance there with that goal from Lennon after the deflection off Jonsson. Sinclair to Dennis. Akrani's have won the league championship. With three matches left. That shows the gulf at the top of the table. There's Barry Wilson showing no respect for that. And earning a corner kick. Gislason took a knock there and halted Wilson's cross. Wilson's corner kick. Up goes Dennis. Great effort. Towering header there. It was touched over the top, I think, by the goalkeeper. The corner kick's been given again. This is a terrific header there by Sean Dennis. A fingertip there on the ball from the goalkeeper, Thor Dusson. Pass was timed well. Header away by Milkovic. Thor Dusson. Waiting for support to arrive and picking out Gunnlaugsson up front. Turns on to that. Excellent left foot. Supported from the back by Gieslason. Put under pressure very well though by Danny Lennon. That was good play by Lennon. Wilson's layoff. Here's back in SP. Ray Throber settling well now. That goal's made a big difference to their belief and confidence. Carelessness though, Gieslason inside. Gunnlaugsson. To Gunnlaugsson again. Well, he carries a great deal of menace in that left foot. Scored a set piece free kick against Sweden in Stockholm recently for Iceland. Has to be watched on that particular flank. Drop it again. Roger breaks in the right, on the left rather. He has support inside. Wilson in the far right calling for the ball. German player there by Hugnesson. Bad clearance. Now Broadle. Well, Steve Crawford, the last touch, did he? No, it was a defend on Milkovic marking him. Akrani has believed that was going for a goal kick. Broadle over the ball. Another outswinger again. Interesting departure that. So many teams now going for in swingers and the goalkeeper. Wilson. Good effort! Rouget! Well blocked by Harrelson. That was excellent goalkeeping by Thordor Thordarsson in goal. Engelson playing it long for Arna Gunnlaugsson. Needs some support. Milkovic is the central defender is forward. Here's Gunnlaugsson again. Harrelson, the pullback. Here's Thordarsson, Ingelson. Well, very carefree back kill of that attempted by Sean Dennis. Off goes Cameron. Great turn of pace. He's eased off the ball. The referee's given the free kick. That could be a yellow card. The referee thinks not. But this was a terrific effort by Barry Wilson here a moment ago. Setting himself for that volley was going in at great pace. And the goalkeeper did well. Sean Dennis reacting to a call from Dave Sinclair. These two 
Developing an eight-foot understanding. Here's Jason Deere. He's found a way through. It's a great play by Deere. Well, it can't be a pass back because it came off the stomach of the defender rushing in there. This is great play from Jason Deere looking to set himself for a shot at goal. And when it came back in, it came off the stomach there. That's why there was no free kick for a pass back being collected by the keeper. Dennis pitching it in short for Crawford. That's Lennon. Forward goes Cameron. Good understanding from Ray Throbers. That's Jason Deere. It's a great effort. Terrific play from Deere coming in from the left. Well, what a good build-up it was. Played across there by Colin Cameron. Look at this deliberate effort on the volley, steering it toward the top corner. It certainly wasn't far away. Well, these supporters enjoying this, I'm sure, to the full. Same plus header. Same for again. Good running to the left, this time by Crawford. Looking for support in the middle. Well, the goalkeeper did well in the second attempt with a well-driven cross, pulled back well from the byline. The goalkeeper made up his mind early to go for that. Look at the pace here of Crawford making for the byline, looking up, seeing support coming from deep positions. Back in SB forward is Cameron. Did well to keep that in play. Siggy Jonsson, very strong indeed. Keith Lawson, that's picked up here by Mackinespe. Well read by Milkovic. Milkovic. Hognesson. Through the gap it goes for Thor, does a chance on here. And he scored right on half time. The dreaded away goal scored there by Olafur Thordarsson. And suddenly the Wraith Rovers defence was opened up through the middle. Dejection in the Wraith Rovers ranks. Simple ball play through a ricochet of Sean Dennis. And very good finishing there by Thordarsson. And that changes the whole complexion of the match. Well, what a shaker for Ray Rovers, who have looked so controlled and composed in the match throughout that first half. Coped very well indeed defensively until that moment when they were opened up by the through pass. And now they have some very hard work to do. And the half-time whistle goes. Well, it should have been a much happier interval than it is. Danny Lennon gave Ray Rovers the lead in just 14 minutes. It was a splendid goal. And Stephen McInnes was intrusion upfield making a difference. He knocked the ball sideways there to Lennon with the end of a deflection. He beat the goalkeeper. That looked good enough to give Ray Throbers a lead, but all of her thought that's had popped up right on the interval to transform this match. The through ball there came from Hugnesson. Came off his heel, back off Dennis, and a very good finish from Thorderson. And that makes the half-time score. Ray Throbers won. Akrani's won. Jimmy Nichol would have been conscious of that very subdued response to the Akrani's goal just on half-time. This side now requiring, I think, to look for at least two goals in the second half. A vital period coming up now for Wraith Rovers. They've got to try and find their way right back into the match. They cannot settle at all for the current scoreline. Travelling to Iceland in these circumstances would be hazardous in the extreme. And yet they did so many good things in that first half. It looked very impressive for a long spell. Now having to defend here as Gieslason sends over the cross. And Brodel had to be careful. He's done well. Uh, the travelling supporters from Iceland enjoying this to the full. Still probing for an opening. Good running by Lennon, joining the front men. The diving tackle by Jonsson was successful. Starks Park supporters looking for a free kick there, but looking in vain. Good luck, sir. To his brother, Anna. On the far side, Ingelson. 
He's on the throw. Well, Raythel was a very tough start to this season. Another problem here for them, perhaps with a dipping volley, mistimed by Arnold Gunnlaugsson. Made space for himself very well indeed here against Dave Sinclair, lofting the ball over his head. This was a reasonable chance now for Gunnlaugsson. A tough season for Raith Rovers so far. They did very well in the running around of the UEFA Cup against the side of the Faroes. They've had to play Celtic twice, losing one goal to nil and two one. They've lost four nil to Rangers on Saturday. Here's Gunnlaugsson again with a shot, and the menace again is clear. Oh, this young man is a special player, all right. Bjarke Gunnlaugsson coming inside, looking for his brother Arna, finding him well. Look at the way he found space for himself, that left foot shot. Well, he has a real menace up front alongside his twin brother. Now Dea. Well, that's very good play by Jason Dea, a good cross in. Chance to Wilson. Well, very difficult coming inside, trying to control that in the move, but it was great play by Jason Deere to go between these two defenders and whip over the cross, which is just too high there for Cameron initially. It was a chance for Wilson, no doubt about that. On the far side is Barry Wilson. He's listening to Ingelson batting his path, it's back with McInespy. That's Lennon. Kirkwood, careless, Gieselson wins it, nimble pass on there by Thorderson. Gieselson, Bjarke Gunnlaugsson. Patience in abundance here. Arnold Gunnlaugsson is away from Dennis, a shooting chance is on. And the offside flag is up at one count. Bjarke Gunnlaugsson. Langer's flag was up as soon as the shot was released there. But what a let-off this is for Ray Throwman. Look at the way Arna Gunnlaugsson leaves Sean Dennis there. Sends in the shot, it was going wide, and the running figure of Bjarke Gunnlaugsson turned it in from an offside position. Sinclair. Now McInespy. Play here by Barry Wilson. He still hasn't released the cross though. Now the change being made is Ali Graham to come on. The player being withdrawn is Stevie Crawford, who's had a lean time of things in the second half in particular. Made some good runs in the first half, but things not going his way now. So a change of pattern. Ali Graham provides a new option for crosses. Cameron. That's a very good shot there on the run by Lennon. A lot goalkeeping though by Thorgor Thordarsson. Good play by Dennis. And Sinclair. McInespy. It's well played by Sinclair. Instructions clear for Scott Thompson. Keep playing the ball short from hand. Dennis picking out Broadle, that's a good pass. Good change of pace by Broadle. That's excellent running. Good anticipation shown by Gunnlaugsson to force Dea back. Chance on here, Lennon. Yes, he scored! Danny Lennon's second of the match. Joy on the start's blocks, Dennis's. A superb finish from Lennon. The ball flighting in there. Michael Milkovic in trouble and brought back there to Danny Lennon. And that's a deadly finish. David Kirkwood's ball flighted in. Now look at the problem in defence there. Pushing into Ali Graham. And there's a shot from Lennon. Straight into the corner. 
Now, can Wade Glovers capitalise on this? Well, the presence of Ali Graham was important there to the Wade Glovers cause. That change has been effective already. Here's Wilson, definitely comfortable coming to the left. Playing that through there for Cameron and a great chance again! Well, what the first time effort on the run. Cameron trying to steer that beyond the keeper who took up excellent position. Just check on the goalkeeper positioning here. As Cameron came inside, good save. You have to hand it to Ray Rose. They kept on playing studied football. Even with Ali Graham on, not just lobbing the ball forward. There's Wilson. Lennon. That's for Cameron to help on. Here's Graham. Graham again. Colin Cameron trying the shot. The ball was screened there by Graham. Certainly problems have been caused for the Icelandic defence now. Here's Lennon. He's out of that by Ingelson, but it's back now with David Kirkwood. Well, not his strongest side, that. On the left foot, he's very good on the right. Well, the ball flicked on there by Colin Cameron. Look at the way it was held up, the strength of Graham. He thought Cameron had a better shooting chance. The defending was good, though. Adelson making the block. Ali Graham signalling for the ball inside the area. Played short, though, towards Cameron. For Darson. And here's a problem. Sinclair missed that. It's one-on-one. -on -one. The Arki Gunlaugsen. Great save by Thompson. That could turn out to be crucial. Damaged his leg there in the process. But what a good save this is. The Arki Gunlaugsen clean through in the goalkeeper. Plenty of time to set himself. Excellent stop. Ingelson is being withdrawn. Player coming on is a 20-year-old striker, Stefan Thordarsson. Here's Cameron. Looking for Barry Wilson, a chance on here. He got the touch. He scored the third. Joy for the Wraith Rovers supporters. That could be the goal to take them through. Jimmy Nicol his feet so organised for the closing stages. There are just about 11 minutes left for play. A great ball played through there by Cowan, and Wilson's pace was crucial. It was a vital touch. And Ray Throwers have a two-goal cushion suddenly. Looked so difficult early in the first, the second half rather. That's a great finish by Barry Wilson. On this evidence tonight, you would have to fancy Ray Throwers to score away from home. The heart of the McCann's defence not looking entirely secure. Carelessness by McInnesby. The substitute Thordarsson, Stefan Thordarsson comes on. Dennis makes the clearance, Stefan Thordarsson felt the brunt of his right boot there. Back now with Haraldson. Shooting chance on this time, he's just wide. Stefan Thordarsson, the golden opportunity passed up here. The ball broke down from the long cross off the head of Sean Dennis. That was a very good chance indeed. Wrestled down there in the end by Bruddle, a free kick to Akanis in a very dangerous spot and a yellow card for Bruddle. Well, suddenly the referee was very indulgent in the first half, is showing a few yellow cards. A crucial moment in the match, this. Well, he certainly wasn't trying any kind of surprise element there. He had attempted that a few moments ago, and it was almost identical, this free kick. Certainly there's plenty of swerve in the ball, but it was wide of the target. It was Scott Thompson covering that post very carefully. Thorlison losing control there. Kirkwood to McInnespe. It's Cameron. Lennon, rather, to Kirkwood. Late tackle on McInnespe by Thorlison. Now, Stefan Thorlison really has been out of order since he came on. He's 
They'll have at least three late tackles in the match, but it looks as though the final whistle has gone without any damage being done there. McInespy on the ground. The final whistle has gone. Danny Lennon's two goals making such an impact in these proceedings, but it may be the goal scored by Barry Wilson. 11 minutes from the end, which might make all the difference. Ray Thomas coming back from that setback just on half time. The thoughtless and scored an away goal, but now they travel with real hope to Iceland. Have the pajamas been put on, I wonder. And the chances for Wraith Rovers remain very good indeed. It's appreciated by the home supporters. A fine battling performance. The final score, Wraith Rovers 3, McTranny's 1. Jimmy, well played. A two-goal cushion, will that be enough to see you through? Well, I'm hoping so, but uh, as far as well played is concerned, I, I wouldn't say that. It wasn't pretty to watch, and we had to get our heads down and muck in the second half, and we brought big Ali Graham on just to to mess them about a wee bit for us and, and we've certainly uh, got the pickings from that there but uh, you hope that at the start of the game that you go out and you're brilliant and you pass on a bench, got a great evening but they were certainly a handful glad to be one up disappointed the equalise right on half time and certainly knew we were in for a hard game a second half even the extent that they made it went down and got a second one it was that worrying but we've got the heads down and um, like I said not pretty to watch but we're hoping that the two goal coaching will be enough were the alarm bells ringing at half-time, what were your instructions at that point to the boys? Just to make sure that we went out in the park and sprinted out and not for the supporters to find out that we're feeling sorry for ourselves because of what happened and let them realise out it's not over by any means. They were playing well at the time, they were creating things and the number nine was a handful, there was no doubt about that. But just to let them know that they were still in, still in my game and, and it worked out that way and like I said, it wasn't pretty to watch. It was exciting without being good clinical passing football, I know that there, but sometimes that's what it calls for and we're happy with the result. I think we can score over there because it's them that have really got to take the game to us now. If we can soak up the pressure over there and maybe take them in the break, then yes, I think we can definitely score. Well pleased today, pleased with your own performance, Danny? Yes, uh, particularly pleased uh, getting a few goals. Uh, the gaffer's been at me to get forward more, give me that wee bit of a free roll, so yes, pleasing. Gordon, Jimmy said not pretty to watch. Is he being a bit harsh on his players there? I think he is, actually, because there was a spell in the game where I thought we throw us played really well. They, they put the ball about, they passed it about in the first half, especially. And, and they lost their way when they lost that goal. There's no doubt about that. The heads went down a little bit. But once they'd brought Ali Graham on later in the game, they seemed to get the initiative again. A good result against a team with the likes of Jonsson and the two twins up front. With a fair bit of quality about them. Yeah, they, they were a good side. I mean... Considering the lack of experience in the Wraith Rovers team, I think you know Jimmy can be very proud of his players. He's got a lot of young players in there. They've never played at this level before. And considering that, they acquitted themselves really well. They did play some nice passing football at times, and it was some of that which led up to Lennon's first goal in the first half. Yeah, they knocked the ball about well. They're pretty patient here. There's McInnesby trying to play a ball through, and you know Crawford not quite making it. But then it's laid back to the edge of the box. There's seven players between you know, Lennon shooting there and the goals. It's a packed defence, and... When you, when you come up against a defence like that in Europe, you've just got to be patient and you've really got to rely on someone shooting from the edge of the box. It takes a slight deflection, but it was a good strike. So that was the opening goal in the first half. They wanted to preserve that lead at half-time, but they didn't quite manage it. But a, a fair slice of misfortune about the Akrani's goal. Yeah, they were very unlucky. There was, there was times in the first half when that team just couldn't play through them at all. And it was defended pretty well. I mean, there was little signs that they were a good side. But there was, there was times in the, in the first half when really I think that uh, you know, Wraith Rovers rode their luck a little bit. Let's have a look at the Akranes uh, goal then. And I think on the, the rerun of this we'll, we'll see it in detail that it, it did take a double deflection. Yeah, they, they lost the, the player a little bit here with the through ball but so fortunate at the end because it came back off the heel of the player, hit Sean Dennis, went back in his path and he finished it. And really just before half time it was a terrible time to lose a goal. And you could see the Wraith players, their faces after it was a shocker from their point of view. So that was 1-1 at half-time. Um, as Jimmy said, he brought in Ali Graham in the second half. But some nice passing too in this second Danny Lennon goal. And obviously the, the long ball aimed at Graham in the middle. Yeah, Graham was the, the final aspect of it. But it was a great ball from Sean Dennis to Julian Broadwell there. And he makes a good run down the left-hand side. And uh, you know when he's closed down, there's a lot of players back there. Little flick to Dare. He keeps it well to keep in play here and, and Kirkwood, he's only got one thing in his mind, that's to hit the back post for Ali Graham. He goes and mixes it with the two defenders. I, think, I thought Lennon did really well there because he had to compose himself with a tackle coming in. That was the main aspect of that strike because it wasn't an easy one to hit there with the, the sliding challenge coming in there. But, you know, Graham was causing problems at that stage, certainly in the air anyway, and Lennon struck it away. At that stage, 2-1, that's really fragile, isn't it? 
Well, it is. I mean, it's not enough really at that stage, I don't think. But you know, considering that I think Wraith were looking for any sort of win at that point, they weren't playing particularly well during that spell. So I'm th just sure they were delighted to be back in front. It was a vital two-minute spell in the second half when Wraith scored. We'll see that in a minute. But first, this save from Scott Thompson. Yeah, the big problem is when you're pushing forward trying to get goals, you're bound to leave gaps at the back. And uh, Scott Thompson did really well there. That was an all-or-nothing save, and it could easily have been two each at that point. And you know, if, I think if it had been two each, you'd probably be considering Wraith be out. But you know, he managed to stand up to it there. He, he got injured in the process. I think it just came off his toe. But uh, that was one of the Goonlooks and twins going through there, and uh, probably just as well it wasn't the other one. He looked as if he was a slightly better player. And then Wraith headed up the other end and got the all-important goal. Flick on again from Brig Ali Graham, but this is a great timed ball and run from Barry Wilson. It just gets in front of the keeper. The little bounce helped because it just bounced up front, but the time of his run was good. And he also went inside the defender, which is all important. You see him just getting that little break. He's off to it first. Former Ross County player just sticks it away. Barry Wilson scores. That was 3-1. It's a good lead to take to Iceland, but Wraith will be well warned uh, about the quality players in the Akranis team. They are capable of scoring goals. Yeah. And in number nine, Gunnlaugson, the long-haired version of the Twins, yeah. uh, he looks a, a, a real top-notch player. Terrific player. I think Jimmy will be under no illusions that the, the tie is over, because we saw enough tonight in this match, and certainly with players of this sort of quality. I mean, Iceland are international players, but look at that turn there from them. The two twins, both of them up front, were, they caused problems all night, but this one's especially gifted. They're both actually signed for Feyenoord as well. I mean, he just strikes it over the, the bar there, but that shows you the quality. They're both on, on contracts with Feyenoord, on loan to Akranis at the moment. He says a great dummy there and fires it in from the edge of the box. That's what Wraith will have to watch from the second leg. These two players carving chances in the edge of the box. Look at that turn there, leaves Sean Dennis for dead. And uh, fortunately, he just fires it to his brother who puts it in the net, but he was offside in that case. Looks like they can't agree on a barber, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I think they just want to identify each other from one another, <laughs> and maybe they've got the same girlfriends, I don't know, but uh, there he's putting his brother through again, and if this ball had come in his path here, he might have stuck it away. But I think, you know, Jimmy Nicholl have seen enough tonight to realise that it'll be a difficult tie, but the main thing, Daniel Lennon mentioned it there, when they're at home, they're going to have to come and attack. And Wraith Rose will be sitting back trying to pick them off. So it'll be a different type of game. And, and if Wraith can defend well away from home and maybe score a goal, I think they can go through. OK, thanks, Gordon. Let's hope you're right. Liverpool, like Celtic, made a grab for the Atlas when the European...